uh, sundial. So this is a real, we're just gonna not, we're gonna go real quick with this one. Um, it's a very simple activity and I thought this would be perfect for a make and take. So if you wanted to have your patrons make something at your library and then take it home to really work with it. Um, I know we're all, it seems like everybody's, you know, we're trying to get content home into the homes. Um, you can do so much at the library, but if you can't do it in the home, then it's not quite as good. So I'm gonna show you all this activity and then we'll come back to it. All right. So this is Make a Sundown, and it's just as easy as you think it is. Um, uh, on our website, and I'll show you how to access that, um, you will find this template. It gives you instructions for a whole set of curriculum about shadows and the sun and the sun moving. Um, I know in a library, you might not necessarily have time for that, especially if it's like a 10 minute program or something like that. Um, so this sundial handout is a great way to bring like a take home activity. Um, so basically, you're going to make your own sundial using a paper plate. You're going to send it home with your patrons for them to calibrate, if you will. Um, this handout that it comes with, it's a little complicated. When you get to the activity, you actually have to scroll down to get this specific handout. Um, it's going to be for latitudes around 40 degrees. There's another one for latitudes around 30 degrees if you're further down south. But just find whichever one you're closest to. Um, so I know here in Boulder, we're right at the 40th 40, latitude. Exactly. Yeah, I think there's like a street that runs right on the 40th latitude. But uh, in Atlanta, it's closer to the 30th latitude. So um, just know where you are. There's easy ways to find out, obviously, what latitude you are. So take this paper plate. The instructions say um, to just put it right on the paper plate at the very edge. I don't think the instructions realize that most paper plates have this lip, you know? So no paper plates that I've ever seen are just completely flat and circular. That would not be a very good plate. So I've cut out my sundial. Um, oh man, there's a name for this. Do you know the name for this? It's like, it's a G-N-O. A gnome. A gnome, okay, thank you. Not the cute little kind that runs around in your car. <laughs> and then it just says fold this section then glue the triangle to the paper plate. So easy enough. Famous last words, right? So I think you could probably glue, you could probably get away with tape too. Um, but the key, exp like the key here is that your patrons are gonna have a chance to go home and really explore this. I would almost encourage you in the spirit of engineering and figuring it out um, to let, to not answer all their questions about it even if you know how to do it pretty well, um, to just kind of let them figure it out and let them calibrate. Um, and then if you do a, I don't know, I would recommend having a few extra one of these hand, handouts um, at your program just in case somebody messes it up or something like that. Oh, that's a great question. Or is that you? Oh, Kelly, and that's you that put that in there. Yes. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna do the long edge out. So as your patrons go home, they're gonna to need to keep it in a, uh, the same spot, obviously. And it's just gonna be a matter of marking the time. So as it hits the hour, um, hitting that, you know, marking that different hour, marking a line at the edge of a shadow. Oh, thank you. I wonder if we could get a shadow. I think we're being ambitious here, I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, great. So like, let's say it's what, 2.45 now, and of course this is not accurate because we were using a phone and we're inside. I would draw a line right here, right 2.45. Um, so yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy. Like I said, um, let's see. Oh yeah, remind them that it is better to print the handout on cardstock to help it stay rigid if there is humidity in your area. Very good suggestion, Melinda. Um, this is cardstock, I would say, even this is like a little floppy, um, so I would say the, the thicker paper, the better. 